Okay, what is the benefit of things like yoga, riders in recovery, doing like 40 days of transform challenges, TEP, softball, etc. cetera? Uh, I wanna hear from you guys on this, but I would say fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. It's all about fellowship, community. Uh, all of these things uh, are uh, partnerships that we have in the community at large which just like their missions just align with ours really well and uh and they make us better you know and we are we're like the only gig in town where we have these kind of long-standing partnerships based off of mutual missions love respect um, and this like when we attend these things it also just puts us around and put your kids around a group of super winners and winners is not like a recovery term winners is a life term when would I ever want to get to a point in my life where I would not want to be around winners or around people that are healthy for me or good for me or push me to grow or whatever and at all of these events every Sunday night when they're riding bikes a group of super winners out there with them when we do softball you know I got alumni coming and dads come in to play and and there's like super winners there for them when we do things like the 40 days and the transform challenges like it's just all about fellowships all about fellowship and community and taking advantage of all of these resources that we have because we're not going to have them forever like you guys are not going to be in cornerstone forever your kids are not going to be in cornerstone forever so while you are here just squeezing as much juice from the fruit as you can uh, that's what i would say anything you'd add to that you got a lot of experience with those yeah. so. um, and we do golf once a month yes <laughs> <laughs> and golf yeah. Great opportunity to smoke cigars and talk shit to teenagers. Yeah. Um, I think another thing specifically when it comes to like the 40 days yoga challenge is I've done, you know, a handful of them. Um, and I think like being able to commit to something um, and having that goal, being able to commit to something, being prepared every week. Like you have to come with like a clean mat, a clean towel, a water bottle, stay hydrated um, ahead of time, schedule class before it gets filled up and, you know, find a way to get there, uh, work around your schedule on top of that, um, like is really esteemable. Um, and I, I feel like I grew a lot every single time I did, you know, those things. And then on Tuesday nights when we would do yoga, um, you know, for me, yes, it's it's definitely the fellowship, um, you know, being like having our own team and like trying to like get everybody to the finish line, um, meeting up on Tuesday nights with uh, Kirk and everybody else doing it, at least when I was doing the challenges, um, you know, kind of like keeping track of our progress throughout the challenge um, was really cool to see. Um, so that's what I got out of it, just like long term commitment or, you know, little bursts of commitment and following through with those. Um, I think as parents, just speaking from my own, um, you know, where the places that I've been, um, especially again, early in my recovery, um, in a very unhealthy codependent place, I could just sit and ruminate about the people in my life and what they weren't doing. And if they could change, they, and it can kind of come in and just really take over your whole life. And I think that, um, Cornerstone offers these events it could be a really healthy way of you plugging in to start trying to find some balance. Um, my sponsor always talks to me about, um, and I'm really having to practice this right now, is that to find balance, it's important to look at the spiritual, to look at the physical, and to look at the emotional and mental, um, and to have that balance. And I think this gives us, um, for the emotional and the physical, it really gives us opportunity um, to grow, especially if we, you know, are not having fun in our lives and we're not, um, we're just balanced way to the, you know, extreme of not being involved in community and things like that, which is where extreme codependency, your kids are struggling with, you know, addiction, it, it can just take over. And um, for me, these things just help bring balance to my life. And so, um, 
I am doing the yoga. I made a really, really strong commitment. I've been going through something really hard for the last eight months. I started a new job. Well, started a career for the first time in my life. And that's when my sponsor's like, Chris, you're going to have to dig in. And I am digging into a whole nother level of the spiritual, the physical, and the emotional to find balance in my life. And so um, at the beginning of the year, I committed to go into yoga every week. Um, I'm committed to the bike rides. And who knows, after I wake and y'all may see me at golf. I have <laughs> never played golf in my life, but I just love this community. And if it gives me an opportunity to be around you guys, um, I'll probably show up. Awesome. Yeah, so I am a huge proponent of yoga. Um, I got to do the TEP program, which is the yoga, a 200 hour yoga teacher training class that we get sponsored through BIG. So it was like, I think like $3,500 or $4,500. I got it for completely free. Um, it was one of the most amazing experiences that I had in Cornerstone. And I was doing the Zoom program. So um, now that they're back in person, I like can't stress enough how much of an opportunity that it would be to take part in that or for your team to take, your team to take part in that. Um, because it taught me so much about self-confidence, accepting where I'm at, um, and spirituality. So when I got back into yoga, um, because when I was a newcomer, it was before COVID started, I really liked it, COVID, and then I didn't go for like a year. Um, but when I got back into it, um, I was experiencing some of the worst anxiety that I've had in my life. Like my dentist told me that my teeth were ground to shit and I just was not gonna have any teeth. <laughs> and I needed a night guard and my muscles were aching But as soon as I got on that mat, it was like a spiritual experience. Um, and I just cried because I realized that for a whole hour, I wasn't thinking about anything. Um, and I was just there. And I'm hitting the next pose and sweaty and breathing. And um, yoga just teaches you how to focus on what's right in front of you. And I really, really love that. Um, also, like what Christy was saying, uh, that um, I know alcoholism is for sure a threefold disease, physical, mental, and spiritual. I just got to get my mental health fixed and I'll be all good. Um, but getting your physical health like tied down or at least getting physical activity a couple times a week is really, really helpful because um, that's just not something we're doing when we're using, uh, you know. So we're sitting in beds and riding around in cars all day. It's like not really getting a whole lot of exercise. So getting to move my muscles in a healthy way, building self-esteem, um, Especially like learning new poses is so amazing and especially um, I have been getting a lot more into like a physical side of recovery and using that as like a really good, um, it, it's like an actual thing, I'm like actually overcoming things. Like I'm physically, I've been getting into rock climbing so I'm physically overcoming shit. Like I could be pissed off about something and like I'm literally getting past it. Um, and so that's a really good feeling too to like work through that in the physical realm not just in my head all the time.